Mr. Citizen, in front of you, I figure I'll stick to the cards this time. <laughs> Truth is, I am Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. He's been recognized with a SAG Award, three Golden Globes, and two Academy Award nominations. The level of intelligence and thought and creativity and ingenuity that he's brought to film is incalculable. With numerous film and television appearances throughout his teens and early 20s, Robert's dramatic star-making turn came in 1987's Less Than Zero, where he gave a critically acclaimed performance, which led to roles in several other popular films, including Chaplin and Tropic Thunder, which earned him Oscar nods, and Sherlock Holmes, a role which won him a Golden Globe for Best Actor. I think Robert was at a point in his life in his career when he was ready to break out and do something really big and exciting. In 2008, Robert made film history with his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut as Tony Stark in Iron Man. Good luck keeping up. The film was directed by John Favreau, and audiences loved Robert's signature portrayal of the genius industrialist turned superhero. Yeah, I can fly. I think most of us have been pretty vocal about what he started and, and without him, we might just be in this position. His performance matched perfectly with Marvel's storytelling style. Is that fair, Casting Robert Downey Jr. perfect for Tony Stark. He can be funny and he can be witty and is at all times. He can be self-reflective in an amazing way. Creating a hero that is equal parts brash and vulnerable. I love you, please. I love you. Robert's portrayal of Iron Man has thrilled theater goers, helping to transform the MCU into one of the most successful franchises of all time. Robert appeared in an unprecedented string of blockbuster hits, 10 in total, including Iron Man, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, and culminating in Avengers Endgame, the biggest box office success in history. <laughs> Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Through charity work, including many children's hospital visits, Random Act funding, and his recently announced Footprint Coalition, Robert continues to be a hero off-screen as well. All while his ability to relate complex, multifaceted characters to audiences around the world has secured Robert Downey Jr.'s indelible mark in film history. I'm just glad that I participated in some small way with making space for all of this amazing new set of talented folks that are coming in and picking up the torch. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tony Stark himself, the one and only Robert Downey Jr. Thank you. That's one of my favorite songs. I was like, how am I supposed to get up here and talk after that? <laughs> um, this is... Thank you. This is, this is my new one. That means 3,000. Three of those, one of these. Um, here's a bit of trivia for you. Uh, the very first time I, I went to Disneyland, I was transported to another place within moments of being arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I was brought to a surprisingly friendly processing center. <laughs> given a stern warning and returned to, if memory serves, one very disappointed group chaperone. <laughs> I've been sitting on that shame for a while and I'm just gonna release it here tonight. I would like to make amends to whomever had to detain me for smoking pot in the gondola without a license. <laughs> And I, I'm sorry, 
I don't want to further confuse the issue by insinuating that pot smoking licenses for the gondola are in any way obtainable. Or for any of the other park attractions, as far as I know. I mean, that's, it, you know, it's appropriate. Maybe the Imagineers, but that's their own business. Anyway, that's a load off. Um, this is beautiful. Um, I, I had a feeling that today would be special, and I, I'm delighted to be among such a rich and diverse group of humans. We're all seeking to reflect the many. Thank you. You want to you wanna make this a Q&A? We can do that. <laughs> um, that's later. This lens of creative expression, I think we all share a really deep and meaningful privilege. Here's my Shakespeare bit. We hold, as were, the mirror up to nature. I must have been very emotional when I wrote this. We could just scroll down to the thank yous, but... Um, playing Tony over these many years and that thematic idea that technology can guide our species toward enlightenment or destruction, it's been, it's been a really worthwhile, and it's an ongoing meditation. It's, it's been a great gift, so I want to thank the fans who made this all possible uh, starting back in 2008. Um, and so to Victoria, Kevin, Lou and Bob, both Allens, Horn and Bergman, Joe and Anthony, uh, my constant companion uh, from the very first day of shooting any of them, uh, James Dennis Rich, who's sitting over there, my right-hand man, and, uh, and the brotherly bond of faith with the exceptional storyteller and my fellow honoree John Favreau. I share this with you. So here's what I get to do. I get to remain a fan of the first inclusive and evolving cinematic universe ever so far. And uh, yeah, here's the future.